Well, Cal Recycle is, is uh, providing oversight. We have an operations uh, chief who uh, makes sure that everything's being done according to the, the proper uh, procedures and, uh, and that everything's being done so that we can recycle as much as possible and that anything that's not recyclable, like the ash and debris, uh, gets taken safely to a landfill. And then they remove soil and they remove uh, a few inches of soil so that um, the, anything that was hazardous is removed. We have everybody who's working on the project is wearing full personal protective equipment. So they're wearing uh, respirators, hard hats, Tyvek, um, keeping themselves safe from any of the materials that, that could harm them. Uh, we also have community monitoring. So there are air monitors set up throughout the community to make sure that none of the hazardous materials are coming off the site. So everyone's very sensitive to the fact that um, these are people's homes, that they've lost a lot already, that they may be in an emotional state um, and, and uh, treat them with respect and really gently. That not only are they good at their jobs of cleaning up, but they're also good at uh, being uh, respectful of the people who live here. It's really wonderful to talk to the people who live here, um, who, and they're, they're so grateful to the crews. What's really nice to me is when I hear that a crew was thanked, because they're out there working hard every day. They work long hours. They're away from their families, and they're here. They, the people who do this work are very proud to do it because they feel that they're helping the community. The people here are, are ready to rebuild their town. There are signs everywhere. There are, as a matter of fact, the bulbs um, have been blooming and so there are flowers everywhere. It's a sign that paradise is coming back.